Um, I well, just like to say at, at the start, uh, well, I heard just recently heard some news about you, Mark, and I just wanted to just say that I really appreciate um, the way you've covered our football club and everyone at um, North Melbourne appreciates what you do, and, and I certainly do. And um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear your, of your situation, but just understand that I'm, I've really appreciated the um, the banter between you and me and um, uh, over the, over the past 18 months. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Thanks, mate. jumping in, so I'll, uh, I'll go first. <laughs> you may as well start, um, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, I think because it is the last round and, and obviously you're not, not going to be playing finals, um, I thought it'd be good, a good chance to look back um, your first full season race. And what's been some of the key learnings you've taken just from a personal perspective out of your first year? Oh, there's, there's certainly been a few, Mark. Um, uh, we, we obviously came into the season uh, with a bit of energy and um, there's a bit of expectation there, and it hasn't quite worked out that way. Um, but there's, within, within those circumstances, there's always opportunity, and, and that's the one thing that I, I think I've, I've spoken numerous times about, is, is taking um, and learning from those, those opportunities we've got in front of us. And um, this year, there's been so many obstacles thrown our way. Um, it's been a perfect storm in, in, in one sense. Um, so for us, we, we, we've learned about our, our off-field, uh, about our uh, on-field performance, um, about everything to do with our footy club. And um, we've got to make the most of that opportunity now to um, rectify um, a few of those things and, and learn from them and, and put in place um, uh, things that we think can really help us in the future, which is what, what it's all about um, right now. And, uh, I've learned a lot personally. It's it's been a, a really tough journey, um, and a, a lot of everyone's been through it um, in the AFL this year. But um, I, I've certainly learned a lot uh, about myself um, and what I need to do and and how I need to approach certain situations, and 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 that's been great uh, for me to um, be exposed to that stuff, so I can learn and and move forward. Um, but also. And just to um, put an end to that is that it has been a season that um, I, it, it's been a disappointment and um, it's not one that I envisaged at the start of the year, but um, we, we've made gains, and I know that sounds strange, but we, we've made gains in, in areas, we've exposed players to um, the AFL level and, and seen if they've been up to it or not and um, we, we've got a real clear picture of where we're going and um, that's really exciting for me. So hopefully that answers your question to some extent. Reese, you talk about how difficult and how tough the season's been, and uh, I think back to Don Pike when he when he left the Adelaide Crows, and he said that the scrutiny and how much pressure is on coaches now is really it can take a toll. How are you travelling after this debut season, and, and and do you need do you need that freshen up? Is that what you need to come back and, and get a bit of energy to go again next year? Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly plays a part, but that's that's part of the that's part of the role, and um, it comes with the territory. On, uh, on, um, oh, we've certainly had our challenges. I've certainly had mine, and oh, I think, uh, as I said before, it's it's about learning from that and um, and growing and and going forward with um, clarity on on what you think. You can you can achieve in certain situations and what needs to happen in certain situations and um, it's been a tough one. It's been a tough one on everyone. Um, I can I can only speak for myself, but my, it's been tough for my family and um, they've done a fantastic job. My wife Leah and in supporting our two boys um, through this time and and uplifting their lives to come and support me. It's been um, really amazing and oh, I really appreciate that. So it's. That's got its advantages, but it's it's also a really really tough one um, for everyone involved up here. In terms of next year, what what help do you need uh, in a coaching sense 
um, to be able to make progress and, and to develop this group? I'm, 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 I'm really comfortable with um, the the plan that we've got in place and, and the trajectory we're on, and I'm I'm really um, excited about that, and I, I know um, where we need to get to, and it's about um, executing that um, to the best of our ability, and uh, I think I've got great belief in in myself and and what that looks like, so. Um, I'm, I'm really comfortable with where that sits and we need to get better though, like there's, there's no doubt about that. I, I need to get better, we need to get better. Um, we all need to get better to take this club to where, where it should be. Looking back, Bruce, what about things were a bit, a bit too gung-ho with your season expectations or do you think because of the circumstances of this year, the injuries, the um, relocation, all those sorts of things, um, you just couldn't have foreseen? those things and they've obviously had a major impact. Yeah, I, I had high expectations and I always always do, always will. Um, the circumstances and challenges that we faced up here, is, as I said before, it was a, it was a perfect storm um, scenario and it's been really, really difficult uh, for us to gain any momentum out of that. And um, I think the, the season, although it it um, has been a disappointment, as I've said before. There's been there's been gains, and and that's what I've got to um, make sure that we um, we grow with those gains and, and create more of them. And uh, I'm I'm looking forward to what that looks like uh, in the coming months. Reese, just going on that, then what about football specific? You talk about having the clarity going forward. What areas do you need to address on the field? Do you need midfield help? Do you need forwards? Do you need backs? And is it going to come from within or are you going to have to bring people in? You're going to the draft. Have you thought much about that in terms of the clarity of the plan going forward? Oh, certainly. We, 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 um, we're, we've got a really good plan and um, we'll, uh, we'll look at every avenue to get better. Um, there's, there's no doubt about that and that's part of what um, this off season is about and what every off season is for, for each club but it's in particular this this one is really important for us obviously um, oh, I'm really excited with the with the group of young guys coming through oh, I'm really bullish about what they can do they, they haven't really had the opportunity to to play together and shine together this year um, for, through through injury and whatnot and um, well, I'm really excited about what that can do, and, and hopefully we can um, complement that with a with a really good draft and um, get some look at some players to, to get in from um, elsewhere. How do you think Aiden Core might look in blue and white, Bruce? Yeah, I'm not going to speculate on um, what that looks like uh, and talk about individuals. We, we've we've got a game to play on uh, on Thursday against West Coast to a. Um, a really good outfit and really good team and we, we want to make sure that we um, prepare as best we can and um, all that speculation, that's up to you guys we'll, we'll talk about that in, in due course Like Bruce can I just... Bruce, you talk about the trajectory, the trajectory that you're on and, and that you're excited by that but the effort on, at the weekend and some other games seems to be a fair way off what's good measure. What, I know you talked about the young guys there and the excitement, um, the trajectory that they're on, but is there a chance that there's more pain ahead before there's before there's light in the tunnel and, and things start to change in terms of 2021? Um, I, I, I can't speculate on what um, next year looks like. Um, we, we've still got to uh, put together our list and um, see who comes in and and who goes out and, and what that looks like in the end of that and um, I'm again as I said before I'm really um, bullish about what we can achieve and we have we've had no luck this year with injury um, to some of our really good players and some of our really good young players and um, they haven't been able to play together um, we've, we've had our skipper for um, six six games seven games Ben Cunnington for three games um, and they're just a few examples of, 
um, what what we've had to deal with. So um, what it looks like next year, I've got I've got no idea. But what I can say is that um, I'm really excited about that group getting together and getting a chance to um, play together consistently. Yeah, well, to, to be completely honest, I don't really don't really think about that at this stage. Um, we're, we're worrying about what we can do on Thursday against West Coast, and um, we prepare um, to win games. Um, and we've got to um, we've got to go into this game with the same mentality, and, and that's where that sits. I don't really too, worry too much about that. Reese, what is, what is the focus this week, given the performance against Fremantle? Um, Given obviously your position on the ladder and the Eagles are playing for potentially a top four spot, how do you how do you control what the players are going into the game thinking and, and trying to achieve? Given it's the last of the season. Yeah, it's 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 a good question, but I, I'm we we've spoken a little bit this week about um, going out there and um, showing our best and 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 trying to be our best, and that's what um, this week's all about. Um, it's our last last chance um, this year to, to play together and um, and pr- try and play the best footy we possibly can and um, really doing that consistency over consistently over four quarters is um, is always the aim and um, we know that West Coast are a really good team I said that before and um, they've been um, a great team for a long time and we need to match them um, this week and specifically around the ball, so we, we've got a, a real target around that. If, if you were Adam Simpson, Reese, would you expect, would you be coming up with the idea maybe that it would be okay to rest a few guys leading into the, into finals, and are you expecting them to do that? Not sure what, what Adam's doing. Um, respect the West Coast Eagles and um, the people in charge there, but I can't speculate on that. Reese, you've got a, a big decision to make um, in the, the near future on Ben Jacobs. Um, are you in any position to share where you're sitting on that? Uh, not, not yet. No. Um, we'll, as I said before, we'll we'll talk about um, uh, individuals at, at the appropriate time. Um, but that's where that sits at the moment, Mark. Sorry. Thanks, guys. Grace, I'm just wondering. Oh, ex- can I just ask a couple quick sure. ones? Just, I'm just wondering exactly exactly how many players you've got to choose from this week. Just the number, because obviously your injury list is pretty long, and you haven't had many in recent weeks. So is it 26, 27 you got to choose from this week, or less? No, I think it's. Um, well, I think we've got 31 this week to choose from. Okay. Yep. That's not a bad number. And just secondary to that, have you guys got any plans post? The game is everyone going back? Anyone going back to Melbourne, or are you all hanging around, or do you know what you're doing yet? Uh, me, or you, the players, everyone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, like there's the everyone's in a different situation. Um, some have been up here for uh, the whole time without any family or partners or anything, so um, that's been really difficult for them, and and, th- and they'll go home straight away. Um, some are staying up here. Uh, some are going, going home. Um, so it's it's all it's, it's very different for each and every individual because it's it's been such a um, challenging time and um, different to anything that I've, we've ever experienced before. So some guys just need to um, chill out and and they'll stay up here, and and some will need to get home to family, which is um, the priority. And what are you doing? Uh, I'll I'll stay up here for for a few days. Yeah, um, post and. Uh, debrief a little bit, um, but yeah, that's that's my plans at the moment.